In this video, we're going to think about the importance of confidence intervals, why they're necessary, and how we're going to create them. So here we have a population, and there's some part about this population that we are looking to estimate. So perhaps we want to estimate the mean. We don't know the pulse rates for individuals in our hospital, but we can take a sample. We want to maybe look at the, or estimate the proportion of um, students in a high school who text and drive, then maybe we'll take a sample. So there's something we are looking to answer, whether it be a, a mean, a, a proportion, or a standard deviation, or variance, something about a population that we don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample. And from that sample, and, and just for to make this a little bit easier, let's just suppose we are estimating a mean. We take a sample. What's that sample going to give us? It's going to give us a sample mean, it's going to give us a sample standard deviation. The sample mean is called a point estimate. It is a point estimate because if I just said estimate the mean of the population, you would say, okay, well, what about the sample mean? But that's not necessarily good enough. We don't know, well, how close is our mean? Or what if I take another sample and it is way off and nothing close to the first mean that I got? So what we want to consider is our sampling distribution. Remember in our sampling distribution, in the center of our sampling distribution, we know is our population mean. Our population mean is the mean of all means. It's the mean of the sampling distribution. So what we want to ask ourselves is, well, the mean that we calculated, this x bar, where is it? Is it over here? Is the x bar that I calculated over here? Or perhaps I calculated and I took another sample and I got a sample mean that's over here, or at least was less than. The, the problem is we have no idea where it is relative to the population mean because we don't know the population mean. So our x bar could be here or it could be here. We have no idea. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our sample mean and we are going to add what's called a margin of error to both sides. So here, if this was our sample mean that we calculated, we're going to add a margin of error so that we get a little bit more space here so we can be a little bit more confident that our population is in a particular interval. This is a confidence interval.